The following content is provided under 4D Science Group. Hi everyone, today we are gonna solve an example in differential equation which is about the uh, how to find the inverse of Laplace transform and we are going to use this identity at the end of this problem. Uh, we look at the, uh, the denominator, we see that it's uh, s plus 1 between parentheses to the power 3, which is very easy. Which is equal to a divided by s plus 1 cubed plus b divided by s plus 1 between parentheses square plus c s plus 1 which is equal to the following a plus b s plus 1 plus c s plus 1 square divided by s plus 1 cubed plus plus which is equal to s square plus 2s plus 3 s square so b s I'm sorry b s plus b plus this is like c s uh, c square plus 2, I'm sorry, s square plus 2s plus 1. So it's going to be c s square plus 2 c s plus c, which is equal to s square plus 2s plus 3. Right now, we are going to go ahead and determine our three equations. The first equation is s squared. Why s squared? Because the biggest power, the biggest power is s squared. So we're gonna look for s squared. We see s squared here. We write c down. We don't see any s squared in here. So this is equal to one because uh, s squared here is one. We have one s squared. So the first equation is s c equal to one. Second equation in terms of s. We see B, we see 2C plus 2C, we see nothing, that, mean, that means that this is equal to 2, sounds good, and finally S to the power 0, we see A plus B plus c equal to 3. So we have c equal to 1. We block c in here. That means b equal to 1 as well because 2 divided by 2 is 1. I'm sorry. 2 minus 2 is 0. That means b equal to 0 because c equal to 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. b equal to 0. So b equal to 0, c equal to 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, that means a equal to 2, c equal 1, b equal 0, excuse me, that means we have the following, we have the following. I'm going to delete this, we don't need this anymore. So after we determined our A, B and C, we know that A was in here, divided by S plus 1 cubed, and we know that B was in here, divided by S plus 1 squared, and we know that C was in here, divided by S plus 1 to the power 1. Okay, we take our A out, and we put 2, we take our B out, we put 0, which equal to 0, this term goes away, and we take our C out, we put 1. 
So we have two terms. And right now we're going to solve, we're going to find the inverse of Laplace transform. We're going to find the inverse of Laplace transform. So the inverse of Laplace transform, we're going to use this identity that I talked about earlier. This identity says that 1 divided by the inverse of 1 divided by between parentheses s plus a to the power n plus 1 equal okay, to the following after term. we solve this problem, we're going to go ahead and use this identity to find the Laplace transform of this uh, equation. We have the first term, which is 2 divided by s plus 1 cubed, which is equal to, we will put 2 the same, t to the power n. What is n? We see in here n plus 1, and we have in here 3. 2 plus 1 equal 3. n plus 1 equal to this term, which is 3. That means n equal 2. So, t to the power 2 multiplied by e to the a, uh, negative a t. What is a? We have a in here. We have 1 in here, so a equal to 1. That means negative t. a equal to 1, because we have 1 in here. If we have hundreds, that means a equal to 100. Divided by 2 factorial. 2 factorial means 2 multiplied by 1. This equal 2 multiplied by 1. If I say 3 factorial, that means 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 6. This is what factorial means. So we have t squared e to the negative t. The, sec the second term is equal to 0. The third term is 1 over s plus 1, which is equal e to the negative t. That means our final answer will be t squared e to the negative t plus e to the negative t, which is equal e to the negative t, t squared plus 1, between parentheses. If you have any question, let me know. I'll be glad to answer. Thank you very much.